What's up guys, I got the call today from Owen at Model Junction saying that the new Schumacher Adam CC had came in that I ordered. So I'm going to try to get this thing built and ready for Monday. Obviously it's Friday so I got plenty of time, hopefully. Uh, this is the old one here. This is a shell that I had done by my buddy Sean Sims at Joker Paint. This thing's held up for a long time, but uh, it's definitely seen better days. It's all been glued back together with shoe goo and stuff like that. So, But so this is the... Uh, Schumacher Adam. I've got the CC is what I'll be building today, the carbon fiber version. So we'll be taking all the electronics off of this, putting them into here. This is the new shell. Uh, Carl from 51 Paint Depot has done for me. Looks awesome. So looking forward to seeing that on the new chassis. So here it is, the Schumacher Adam CC. Uh, carbon fiber chassis and some other stuff has changed. And I bought loads of upgrades for it already but anyway we'll get the camera switched over here so you can see better and give it a bit of an unboxing and then we'll do a time-lapse build I won't make you sit here and listen to me talk as I build the whole thing but uh here we go we'll get into the upgrades in a minute so I was bought from Michael Orlowski who was just on the big blue tent so that's pretty cool um, instruction manual differences for the uh, for the Adam CC so there you go and I think yep there we go uh, just talking about this on what's in my kit the setup sheets so there you go there's theirs but you can also get them on Petit RC all the bits some contact tires I'm not sure if you really do. anyway um, we're probably using JFTs on these anyway uh, S1 parts Adam 2 a lot of the steering stuff we won't be using we got upgraded stuff and then the carbon fiber chassis so that's the whole point of the car right here uh, some random stuff of course you've got battery tape so we got all these back in here that in there all right so the upgrades that we got was the low profile front end for the atom which is u7 2 Eight zero. So there you go. It's all the parts to get the low steering, um, low profile steering. With those, like I said, you need the alloy uh, steering hubs or the hub carriers. So that is U4866. Actually, when you go to order this on Schumacher's site, you'll see that they say you have to use these with it. So make sure you get those. U7300. This is a brass midweight. This weight goes like uh, in front of the battery under the electronics and the alloy block and flex body post horizontal so u2166 that's uh u2166 the alloy blocks and flex body post these like i said they're just alloy versus the plastic ones that we had on the old one which you can see here they're plastic they're just chunky but they don't look as cool as these so again you don't need all this stuff um, but I figured since I was getting a new car, I could, one way was to drive it like it is and then update stuff and see how it changes. But for me, when I go out there, I want to know that I've got this stuff on there. So I was able to get all this stuff first, so I got it and then we're going to put it all on as we build. So here we go. All right. So one thing I did before I started the time lapse is I went ahead and took everything off of the old chassis here including the weight which I'll show you in a second. This one also has a mid weight but it's a lot smaller than the one I'll be putting in the new one. It's just to give it some more balance and you couple that with this rear weight that goes back here and then it just kind of helps balance the car out give it a little bit more weight make it easier to handle. Uh, so the Futaba receiver obviously this is what I always run and all my uh, and anything I race basically so I can run it off my 7px I used to run it off my 4px then my laps transponder uh, this is what counts your laps when you go over the timing loops so they know how many laps you're doing and how fast you're doing them at and it's inside one of these little my laps holders and I like to put these holders on my cars because I swap quite a bit I'll swap back and forth uh, I've got two of these and I'll put them in different cars when I'm racing whatever and it's easier to just pop them in these versus double side taping them down every time so little holders are cheap and very handy uh, the servo is just a core servo 5008 this has been in this car the whole time uh, actually it was in the SSGT before that so this servo has been around for a long time uh, touch wood it hangs around for a bit longer 
Kimbro servo saver on the front. And then the motor and speedo or ESC electronic speed control. I got a Toro 1S 120 amp um, speed controller. And then I got this from Layton. It's a G Force 13.5 uh, turn motor. So all that will be going into the new Atom CC. So uh, let's get started. One more tip as you're setting up for a build that I do every time is get some kind of container to put screws in for each part. So like you'll go to a part and it says like bag A, dump bag A in here and then tweezers. May sound funny, but tweezers to go through all the parts in here, pull out what you need, make your life a lot easier. So highly suggest something to put the small parts in and something to get them out with easier. Now let's get started. Obviously the build's done, and uh, you could probably see in a time lapse at one point stuff just kind of like came in from everywhere. It's because during the build, not too far into it, I realized there was a part missing, and it was the uh, side link connect. It's where like the side links that clip on the bottom of the car connect. So when I tried to connect it to the one it was giving me, it was too short, and I couldn't figure out why. And then I realized that the Atom CC uses the one that sweeps back more. I'll show you a picture of it here. So they used that one, uh, but it wasn't included in the kit for some reason. So I called Model Junction. I'm like, hey, dude, it's missing this. And he, like, straight away, he got right back to me. He's like, is this the part you're missing? I said, yes. He called Schumacher. Uh, Schumacher's, like, hurried up, and hopefully they should have put one in the post tonight. So hopefully either tomorrow I get it or, worst case scenario, Monday. Uh, that's not the worst case scenario, obviously, but... For me, uh, I want to race Monday night, so I need it <laughs> for Monday. So if it comes in Monday, I can shoot up there and get it real quick, put it on the car, and still be able to race a new car Monday night. So here's hoping. But anyway, I just want to shoot this quick outro, let you know what happened there. Uh, other, other than that, it's a pretty good build. Um, it just, I had to take a lot of stuff off the old car. Obviously, you saw all the electronics came off. But then I started taking, like, I just took the whole diff right out of the old car because I had it built with, like, a good parts so I wanted to keep that and not build a new one up yet so I just popped it right in put the other tires on it because I just put those on uh, in the middle of the last race so um, so I had plenty of life on them so I figured we'll put those on there as well but anyway thanks again for stopping by uh, make sure you click like and subscribe if you got any questions or comments please post them below and if we don't see you on the trail we'll see you on the track later